Here we go. with a yummy recipe here quick and easy and mostly because I had everything in my pantry that I needed to put in here plus a few things I have that I'm going to throw in so first thing I'm going to do is take my pasta this is a one pound you know 16 ounce bag of pasta it's gluten free it's just the kind I have in my pantry the kind I prefer so it's going in here I'm going to put just a, a little bit of salt in of course measured carefully into the water that's boiling and put that in there. I'm going to put our pasta in. Never, 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 never put oil in your pasta water. Because then when you're done, if you put oil in the water, your sauce won't stick to your pasta. So I don't know who started the oil in the pasta water, but never, never, never put oil in your pasta water. Just some salt. So pasta going in. And the water is hot already back there by the magic of live Facebook. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, aren't you supposed to put oil in there? <laughs> <laughs> never, 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 never. So um, that's our first thing. Oh, we're going to make a ham pasta dish, pasta and ham and cheese. And I had some frozen corn in my freezer. I had some frozen peas in my freezer. You can see they're pretty frozen still, but they're going to cook up real quick when we get them in the pan. So I have the pasta in. We're going to start with our sauce here. And I have the pan go going here. Uh, I'm going to put my butter in and get that started and a little bit of olive oil, hot Instagram, sorry I'm going off the screen there. So, and why do you use them both? Because olive oil has a higher smoke point than butter, so your butter won't burn as quickly or not at all, is your goal. And then I need, hold on, a stir. I will use my stir that I bought in Israel in Bethlehem in honor of Easter yesterday. Bought this in Bethlehem last year when we were in Israel. So, here we go, butter, oil, onion, in. Let's start with that and let that get started. How was everyone's Easter? Everyone have a nice time on your Easter? Let me pull up my comments here. There we go. Hey, Florence. Rhonda, baby, how are you? There's my sister. Hello, Julia. Sorry, I'm going to get my comments up here. How is everyone? Florence, big winner. Um, hope you guys all had a nice time. So we're going here with uh, our pasta ham leftovers dish with everything I already had in my house, which was kind of the point, right? So now I've got my olive oil and butter and a little bit of onion going here in the pan to get started here. Bring that up a little bit. And here we've got our pasta. And I'll get that going. Water is boiling, so get that ready to roll. Okay. All right. So how was everyone's Easter without C's candy? It was my first Easter without C's candy. And it really, you know, normally at my table, I showed you guys our table yesterday. Um, there's an Easter, a C's egg at every place. So it was kind of sad. I was going to ship some to our family that we couldn't see. You can't even ship it. I mean, C's is closed. Oh my God, wall the day. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Survived Easter without C's candy. Who would have thunk it? Um, okay, my sister's asking about the um, Easter pie. Epic, epically awesome. It was so good. So the Easter pie was the phyllo dough for the shell 
and the ricotta cheese and eggs and almonds in the middle like a custard. It was delicious. Oh my goodness. So it was yummy. And the other thing that um, was really yummy that we didn't realize um, was going to be so good and easy was the cheese sticks. Yesterday we made the um, string cheese sticks, the mozzarella sticks, cut them in half and rolled them in the leftover phyllo dough. Oh my goodness. We put ham and cheese in some. I put the cheese and strawberry jam in some. But I mean, you could use goat cheese and pesto, or I make, like I said, the baked brie with the apricot and the jalapenos mixed in there with the cheese, but they were awesome. And Rex loved them too, so endorsement from the team. It was yummy. Hey, Wendy and Annette, how are you guys? Welcome, we are making leftover ham pasta dish. So I've got the pasta going in the pot here, and it's cooking away there. And then in here, I just have a little bit of butter and olive oil and onion in there, brown it up a little bit, softening up the onion, and then I'm going to throw in my ham, and we have, of course, honey baked ham, our favorite, especially my husband's fa favorite. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Um, so I have about two cups of ham chopped up left from the honey baked. I'm going to throw that in here with the onion, let that start getting browned up a little bit. Yummy. And the what else do we have? Oh, the sweet potato balls. Can we just talk about those sweet potato balls and how awesome they were yesterday? Huh. So my favorite things from all the Easter side week last week, remember we made the green chili rice dish, made pea salad, uh, sweet potato balls, scalloped potatoes, the Easter pie, the appetizer, dinner rolls. Oh, the dinner rolls were a hit too. We made those. Rex loved those. A uh, little ham inside and the dinner rolls. Oh, yum. But the, my two favorite things from last week was the sweet potato balls were just epic. And that Easter pie was just killer. Something I have never made that is a traditional Italian dish that you know why. It's a traditional thing and everyone loves it because it was delicious. So highly recommend that and easy, frankly. It was easy. And if you need to bring a dish to a party, the phyllo dough is really impressive and yummy and really, frankly, easy. So. So in the pan here, for you guys just joining, I have onion and the ham that's left over is in here and just letting it brown up a little bit before we throw in. We're going to make a creamy sauce here to go in that, so just letting that get going a little bit. What did you guys make that you have new things? Did you try anything new for Easter, for your Zoom Easter holiday with your family online? <laughs> We FaceTime, you guys FaceTime with your family. That's what we did. Showed them all our things. Hey, Savannah, how are you? Welcome. We are making leftover ham pasta today. So with everything I already have in my kitchen and fridge, uh, we are making. So if you guys have leftover ham from Easter yesterday, I thought let's make a yummy dish with the what's left. So that's what we're making here. So I'm going to keep going here on our on our sauce and then so I'm going to stir in I have about a cup of chicken stock here so I'm going to start to make our sauce here see how it looks. got a little brown on our ham which we do so oh yeah this looks good it smells so good because I mean what is better than honey baked ham in pretty much any form hey Instagram Sorry, I keep backing out of the picture. How are you? Peekaboo. Hey, Susan. Oh, you cooked a leg of lamb. Oh, yeah. My mom always cooked a leg of lamb uh, for, ho for holidays. And yummy. Totally yummy. Um, and the best thing about lamb was after we had lamb, she'd make lamb curry out, out of the lamb the next day. was one of my absolute favorite childhood things was mom's um, curry lamb. So I have about, um, I don't know, two or three or so cloves of garlic. I'm just throwing in there. But I'm improvising this recipe into my own. So I'm going to put a little garlic in with our onion and ham. And then I have, this was um, half and half. It calls for cream, but I don't have any cream. So we're using half and half here. And I'm going to put that in here. 
uh, in with our chicken stock, put the half and half, and let that mix up a little bit. See how my pasta is going here. Get that warmed up. Yeah, how was your lamps, Susan? Let's see, I think I have your earrings on today. Are these yours? I think so. Can you see? Susan's bling it on. You can follow her and her lives with her really cool jewelry. Let me see how my pasta is doing here. Hold on so I don't overcook it. Hey, Erin, how are you? It's not done yet. Okay, so we're going to keep going here. Salt and pepper in our sauce. Let's see who's here. Hey, Tim, how are you? Oh, Kat, how are you? How's it going, girl? You guys need fresh seafood. Kat Jones owns um, Ventura Fresh Seafood, and they have the best. They'll send you a text and tell you what they have. And they're doing delivery, and they're doing um, pickup. I think you guys are doing pickup. They have a shop at the harbor. I'm kind of behind Andrea's, but they are delivering. So if you need fresh fish, get on her text list. Um, and she will send you a text of what they have when they have fresh catch. So sign up, support our local fishermen. Kat, if you put a link to your where you could sign up, um, put it on Instagram, if you're on there, but go on Facebook and put it in the feed for this video so people know where to sign up to get their fresh fish. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Put a little salt and pepper in our sauce. Let's go in here. I'm gonna go real light on the salt because the cheese has salt and the ham has salt. So we're gonna not go too heavy on the salt in our sauce. Okay, I think this pasta is gonna be, I try and cook it you know, just a little bit al dente because nothing like soggy pasta, but when you're on live and you're talking, I think that's done. So I'm gonna just pull that up and out of the water like magic. Try not to make a total mess, just like that, that I did. Okay, pasta is, re is ready, turn that off. And keep our sauce going here, back that up. Okay, our cream sauce is going away there. All right, my starter. Oh, this, my, my, uh, you guys see, it didn't like the water, I just put out the, my flame a little bit with the overflow. But here we are. Hey, Lisa, Cheryl, how are you? Welcome. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sandy and Aaron. Hi, guys. Aaron, big winner. Aaron won the paper towels because they are in demand. And Lisa, how are you? Your song was beautiful yesterday for Easter. Hello. She does our title orders. If anyone needs title insurance, she's your gal. And Cheryl, how are you? We have got to get together. We live so close. Cheryl is a friend from high school, went to high school in Virginia, and we live like 30 miles away from each other, and we haven't gotten together. Shame on us, but we need to. So we got our sauce going here. It's getting hot and bubbly, and I'm just letting it get nice. I want it to thicken up a little bit before I put the cheese in. And I'm going to put our, we've got some peas and some corn because that's what I had in my freezer. I'm just going to throw it on in there because, you know, the more things in the pasta dish, the better. <laughs> what am I making? I'm making leftover ham dish. So we're going to make pasta with some leftover ham from Easter. So I'm sure a lot of people have leftover ham and I'm using what I had in my house already. So we've got some cheddar cheese, some mozzarella cheese, corn, peas and then the half and half and some chicken stock in the pan. So I'm gonna start throwing in some cheese here. I'm not actually gonna use all of this cheese, but like I said, don't ever use the pre-grated cheese. It is gross. It has the coating on there. It doesn't melt right. It doesn't taste right. So always grate your own cheese, but as long as you're making the mess, I just grate the whole thing. So then I just put it back in the fridge and in a Ziploc grated, and it's easier to use for the next time, but then it's ready to go. So I don't need all this, but I was grating it because I already had the grater all dirty. So let me grab some tongs here. I'm going to use, oh, about, this is mozzarella, about a cup of mozzarella in there. And then same on the cheddar. Put some cheddar in there. And then I have my cheese ready for the next thing. I think one more. 
scoop of that on her. You never have too much cheese, right? Hey, Melissa, how are you? Welcome. We are making leftover ham dish here, so I'm sure everyone has leftover ham, and I'm making it with what is probably left in your fridge already, because we have um, cheese, and this is, I'm gonna throw these in. This is just a, some frozen corn I had left, frozen peas, and we're gonna throw those in here because why not? Yum! Stack up my bowls here. And let this stick it up a little bit and then we'll be voila, ready to put our pasta that's ready here. And we will toss all this together and have ourselves a yummy, leftover, easy, quick pasta dish. So what else did everyone make that was yummy for Easter? Anyone make something different since people had maybe a little extra time to make something different and yummy? Anyone? Comments? Questions? Anyone have any questions about the, re the recipes we've done so far? For those that are counting the episodes, like I might be the only one, we're on episode 23. So we have done 23 yummy re uh, recipes up to today and going to be here every day at 3 o'clock doing recipe of the day every day at 3 o'clock in April while we're all um, home more than usual. In, our, in my case, home a lot more than usual. <laughs> I'm usually out driving around in my car going from one appointment to the next. But right now we're here doing this, which has been so fun. I love seeing you guys online. It's been just a ball. Ooh, yum. I just want to give those, um, the corn and the peas a little bit of time because they were frozen when I threw them in there and let them just get cooked through a little bit. And then I will toss this and put it in here and see what we've got. Double, no, my sister's saying, um, did I make the double tree? I sent her, I found online when I've been looking online for inspiration, the double tree hotel chocolate chip cookie recipe. And you know, they are so good. You know, when you stay in their hotel, they put one of those warm cookies on your pillow. Oh my gosh. For someone that's a cookie freak like me, it's like heaven. Like you pick a double tree just for that, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, but no, I haven't made them yet. So I just sent it to her because we are cookie people. So we will have to try that. Maybe we'll try it on here. We'll make it the Double Tree chocolate chip cookies. It said in the art in the art the article where I saw it. I didn't see if it was current or not, but that um, they've never given out their um, famous chocolate chip co cookie recipe before, but they have now. So it looks delish, by the way. Too it has a little oatmeal. Yum. Oh, Lisa. Those everything sugar cookies with the pretzels and the potato chips might be one of the best cookies I've ever made besides the chocolate chip. Um, the recipes for all of these videos and these shows are in the comments below the video. I put the recipe down there so you guys can um, make these yummy things at home too. So the everything sugar cookies um, were epically good, yummy because they're basically sugar cookies, but they have the salty too. Oh, heaven, 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 heaven. Okay, this looks yummy and ready. I I should toss it in the pan or toss it in the bowl, but let's try it in the pan and see, see what happens, except it's hot. Oh, hold on. Get my pasta stuck together here. Break it up and get it in the... And this is just a pound of what I had, and I, I had a pound of this gluten-free penne, so it's what's, it's, it, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> so it's going in here. Okay, yummy. Okay, oh my goodness. Does this look like heaven? I think just in the sake of good pasta, I think this is gonna need some fresh parm on top, so I'm gonna grab some parm real quick. And I got one right here. And let's put a little fresh parm on top of this. What do I have here? Whatever kind I have here. 
I don't know. That's going on top. Yum, let that get in there and melt. Then I'm going to dump this all into our dish there, see if it'll fit in the dish. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Let's see. So here we go. Our leftover ham, pasta, what's left in the fridge, pasta. So we have ham, peas, corn, cream sauce, cheese. Um, yum. Looks delish, smells yummy. So there we go. There's our recipe of the day today. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? Um, good to see you. So we um, have our drawing today, and today we are going to be giving away because is anyone ready to go somewhere? We are supposed to be on an epic spring break trip right now today that we are not on. Um, I'm sad. So in honor of that and travel in general, today's giveaway is da 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 da. It is a passport, a leather passport cover, and a matching luggage tag for when we get to travel again. Yay! So I have two of these today, so we will be giving them away. And my dish is up to date. If you have liked or commented on any of these cooking videos, you are in the bowl. So does my director want to pick my name? Today? Not today. Not today? Okay. He's not going to get on camera, even though he's looking so cute like he always is. And our winner today of our passport getting ready to travel is... Who else is getting ready to travel? If that would be my sister, Julia Minus, the traveling queen, is the winner today. And also, in honor of my giveaway, I'm wearing, I don't know if you guys can see this, my bracelet I got in... in Italy, because it's just one of my favorite places in the whole world, and it has Firenze and Roma on my bracelet, so I thought, oh, a girl can dream. I can dream with my passport cover. So my sister won that one, and she is a traveling fool, so perfect for her. You have a new passport cover. And then, da 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 number two for today is, let's see. Kathy Hagman! Kathy Hagman, you are my lucky winner today! So congratulations to my passport cover winners. And as always, really appreciate you guys watching. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So pick a good attitude while we continue through this. Um, reach out to someone if you um, need to. If you need to talk to someone, please reach out. Um, of course, we're always a bit available. Uh, if you need someone to talk to or call a friend, call a family member, especially people that might be holed up at home alone, um, reach out. So we appreciate you watching. We love seeing you guys here and we will see you every day in April at three o'clock. If you have any recipes you want me to make, I'm happy to share your family favorites and I will make them. Um, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, three o'clock. See you then. Thanks for watching.